Welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today I am here with some of the new Audi art supplies. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist and this is my assistant. Hello. Let's see what I got today. Firstly I'll show you this acrylic painting pad because Miss Assistant is going to open it so we can have a look. It's an A3 pad and I guess it's supposed to take acrylic paint. It's 300 GSM. I don't know what the paper's like so we'll have a look by the cover. It looks like it might be slightly textured so we'll have a look inside in a second. Next up I got this sketch by numbers. Ooh. So there is a 3H, H, HB, B, 2B and a 6B pencil. Your sharpener and eraser. You get one artist drawing board, four pre-printed practice sheets, six drawing pencils and then on the back it gives you an idea of picture and there are some tips on the back as well. Then I got learn to draw comics for Mr. Mod. Modi Mod Mod. So I picked that one up. I think I'll probably draw some of those. They also had learn to draw caricatures, flowers, still life. The flower one wasn't very good, I didn't like it. And there were a couple others, I can't remember what they all were. And then I also got the learn to draw fantasy art. So that one looks pretty cool. How to draw eyes and ears and feet, hands, all sorts of things. Wonderful things. Hey, did I just say turtle? Then I got some acrylic paint brushes. I actually wanted some that were bigger than that, but they didn't have any. The highest they went was a size 12, and you could either get long handle or short handle ones. And they also had natural hairs as well, but I'm not sure what the natural hair was. Then I couldn't remember what colours of paint I got, so I got ultramarine deep and crimson to try out. Then they have primer, modelling paste. Or texture paste, acrylic medium, acrylic paint thinner and flow improver which is something Miss Assistant needed when she was doing her assessment the other day. And then crackle acrylic paint medium, creates fine crackle effects. We're going to test these out. That would have been so cool for my assessment. Okay so it's textured but it is, it looks like a paper press made texture. It's not actually the canvas texture like it shows on the front. It's a very different type of texture. It kind of reminds me of tree bark. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Probably see more once we paint on it. But we're just going to have a look at the paints. I've washed the sizing out of this brush. It actually feels quite nice and it goes to a nice point. I'm not sure. They are meant to be for acrylic, watercolour and mixed media. Okay, so we'll start with the crimson, which is a colour I don't think I have, but I do think I possibly have the ultramarine deep. And I'm just going to lay that on there. So you can get it quite thin and translucent, and you can also build it up thicker. And I'm sure we can layer over that once it's dry. So again, a thick application gives an opaque colour and a thin application gives a see-through colour. And as you can see as I'm laying the brush strokes on, you can see the texture of the paper underneath. Now I do have a slight problem in that I don't actually know where any of my droppers are. So this is going to be fun. We have a paint that I've had for a while and it's quite chunky. It has a very grainy appearance. I'm just going to drop a couple of drops of that in there and see if this helps. It does appear to be getting less chunky and more smooth. Okay, let's test it out. I probably should have tested it out before that. Isn't that smoother? It's smoother. It probably could have done with a little bit more, but it's a lot better than it was. Mixing on the plate with the texture has made it a little bit harder to mix. So that medium has worked to thin it. So that's a plus. I have a very, very lot of super old paints that I used to get on clearance and things. So I was hoping that that would work. The next thing we are going to try is we'll grab out the primer. I'm always interested to see if these are going to dry overly plasticky because some do and I really hate that. The Montmartre one I really don't like. It's very plasticky and everything slides off it. I have some deco art one that I really like. It has a nice tooth to it. We've got a thin and a thick layer. It's already dried on the outside. 
It dries really fast because the corner appears so almost dry. Next we have the modelling paste. I'm just going to put some on the plate. Normally I would do this straight on my mat, but this book takes up most of the mat, so that's a little bit awkward. I'm going to grab a little bit and oh, put stuff. it through the stencil. And then I'm just going to lift the stencil and really quickly grab some paint. So Miss Assistant has grabbed a purple. This is a colour that is available again at Audi. There is a bunch of colours. I wasn't sure what I had at the time so I just grabbed two that I thought I may or may not have. So I'm just going to lightly mix that through. I'm not worried about getting it too mixed through. I'm just going to pick it up and pass that through the stencil to see how it behaves. I don't mind the marbled effect sometimes. Depends what you're going for. So I'm just going to throw that straight in a bucket of water I have down here to soak so that it doesn't stay on there. Well, that is pretty thick. And we'll see how that dries. But it's really rough. What, that one? We're just giving these a bit of a blast with the heat it heat tool. Okay, so it says to paint the crackle medium over the top and allow to dry. It's kind of like a sugar syrup. It's not as runny as the paint thinner. Okay, so we let that dry and I'm immediately going to wash my brush. So I'm just going to pick up some of the leftover paint and see how it goes on over the top of the primer. To touch it, it does feel rougher than the paper surface. The paper surface, even though it has a rough texture, also has a slightly smooth texture, but this gesso is rough. The paints are only 99 cents. These were $3, 250 mils. That is a really great price considering how much it costs for brands like Golden and and other high-end acrylic brands. The modeling paste is not quite dry yet, but the other paint is. So I'm going to go over the black with this. It says the thinner a layer you apply to, the more it will crackle. I'll use the red on that one. And then I'll go over this one with the blue. And we'll let them dry and see what happens. Now the modeling paste isn't dry yet, but as you can see, it has a nice texture. You can use it with paint. Now we need to let the crackle paint dry and I will be back when that is done. Oh actually I just want to see if I can layer over this again. It's taking another layer nicely. We did get a very small minute amount of crackle that might be because I didn't put a thick enough layer of the medium down so what I'm going to do is grab the crackle medium again and this time because the crackles a lot of it seems to be following the grain of the paper I thought I'd put a thicker layer of the gesso down so most of the grain is gone. My cat unfortunately jumped on the book as she does. So cat hair gets into everything. So I'm just going to lay down a thicker layer of this stuff and spread it around. And this time I'm going to put the colour directly over the top of the white so that we can have a better look because those colours are both a little too dark. Now both the paints and both versions of the model paste are dry after about one and a half to two hours. Now I'm going to try two different paints. So I'm going to try the stuff from Audi. And next I'm going to grab some Liquitex Basics. And I know this one dries matte and is fairly opaque so I thought I would grab that. The reason I know that it is fairly opaque is because my daughter had a abstract art assignment. She painted her canvas with a dark blue and then she painted over it with this one. Now I'm not sure I let the crackle medium dry for long enough so we'll see how it goes. I do like the way this turned out. I did try to record this but my camera was being a pain in the butt and not accepting my SD card so I was filming and then it shut off things slow right speed so what I did was grabbed my Jane Davenport's this time I'll grab a purple one so this is quite liquid quite a wet wash but it will dry on there nicely I just added some blue so we'll make it a little bit darker so we can see what the difference is that's a heavier wash go with the pink 
that did resist a little bit when it had too much water in it. So we'll see how that one dries as well. I can see right now with this crackling, if you can see the actual crackling happening here, it's working much better with the Liquitex paints. I was wondering if it was actually the Audi paint, the reason why it wasn't crackling very well. But you can see quite clearly here that the Liquitex is cracking. I think possibly the paints are okay for what they are, but they are 99 cent paints and you can't expect them to be brilliant for 99 cents. I'll just give you a little swatch of that colour underneath. So that's before the crackle. That's the Audi. That is quite cool. I really like how it's turning out with the Liquitex Basics. Again, that's not a super expensive paint. That's their cheap line. This one is starting to crack. With the gesso, I imagine you can go over it with any of your art and craft mediums, chalks, crayons, gelatos. Now I will say this works much better when your layers are light and dark. You can see here we're getting some good cracking and we have a little bit of cracking here, not where the thickest paint is, but we have a little bit of cracking here and a small amount of cracking here, but you can't really see it because of the dark color. And you actually can't see it on this one because it's red and blue and that blue is a fairly transparent blue. The red is starting to crack now. I think you just need to lay down a thicker coat and make sure it is super dry before you add your next layer. So overall, not 100% happy with the paints. They are a bit thin and a bit transparent for the most part, the two that I got today. But the mediums have knocked it out of the park. I love the crackle paint medium, just not with their paints. I have knocked the thinner under the table. I really love their primer because it is not a plasticky primer at all. I had the Montmartre, I threw it out. I thought it was revolting and horrible and I just tried to add stuff on top of it and it slid around all over the place and nothing would stick to it. And then I really like the modeling paste as well. It gives good texture. It's not too thick. I will see how it goes over time. But the other thing I found with a Montmartre, one of these that I had, I had to throw it out as well without using much of it because no matter how tight I did the lid, it would still get in. And it, as soon as you take that seal off, it dried out. So that soured me on Montmartre SO and texture paste. While I've got the Jane Davenports out, I have a little bit of primer here. I just want to see what they look like on top of that. So I'll take this colour here. You can see, really see the texture of the paper with this. So I can get a dark colour, medium colour and a light colour on there with the water colour. I'm going to try with just a little bit more water to see if it beads up too much. And try and leave the cat hair behind. There is a little bit of pooling, but it's not too much. And I think it's a lot to do with the texture of the paper and the quality of the paper. It's on the gesso there. But the wetness kind of seeps through and buckles the paper a little bit. I'm not really a fan of this paper. I have tried several of their watercolour pads and I'm never happy with them. So until I see somebody say that the watercolour pads are good, I'm not even going to try them anymore. Again, you get what you pay for. I'd rather pay the few dollars extra and buy the Montmartre pads and know that they're going to work. I do like the texture of the paper though. It's quite nice. So maybe I'll try it out for some other things. Okay, there's our finished tester it mixes nicely with paint that was almost 50 50 and it still dried nicely it takes other mediums over the top like watercolor is one of the ultimate tests because of how much water there is so it hasn't washed off it has dried it's not rubbing off on my finger now there was a little bit of crackling in this one not a lot there was a little bit more invisible crackling in this one that we could see again not a lot over the primer with the Liquitex Basics, it did a lot better. We have some crackle here with the Audi paint, which isn't too bad, but to go thin, it's a very see-through layer of that. The crackle medium works. The mediums are where it's at. If I have to recommend anything, I would recommend the mediums $3 each. $3 for the crackle primer and the modeling paste. And the brushes are $4. They're not too bad. I'm not sure how I feel about them, to be honest, because they're quite small anyway. I was, was after some bigger paint brushes for my daughter if she had to do a big project for her year 10 project. 
I really hope you enjoyed this look at some of the products that are in Audi at the moment. Audi didn't have any of the art markers left but Melinda from Alexis and Melinda Art Space checked for me and said they are the exact same colours that were out earlier this year. So I was hoping they would have some more neutrals or maybe some skin tones or something like that to go with them because I think they are a perfect way to get young people involved in markers without letting them loose on your Copics or more expensive art markers that you may have especially if they have brush nibs because children are notoriously rough <laughs> on brush nibs. And don't forget there is also the thinner medium that has gone under the table and I'm going to have to go and find that in a minute. Highly, highly recommend the four of these that they have. As I said, they're only $3 each, really worth it. The brushes are $4 each. I was tossing up whether to get some of their natural hair brushes. I'm not sure what the hair was, but I probably should have grabbed some of them as well just to test them out. If you enjoyed this look at the Audi mediums and paints, please like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And hit the bell notification so you know when new videos come out. Don't forget I have the Audi Crafty Planner channel, which I will link up here. If you're interested in planner related stuff, that's where you'll find it. I will be doing a pen test soon. And next week I'll also be showing the new Kmart planners. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.